Hi everyone, welcome back to Chosco. Today we are going to take a look at the two-space high enclosure. This two-space high enclosure has been the most preferred and played enclosure since AI came out. It's quite interesting that before AI, no one really played the big enclosure because it's wide open for invasion. But now the perspective on this move has changed significantly. And because of that, now this move has become the most preferred move. And the reason for that, there are new ways of AI to deal with other enclosures, which is overpowering. First of all, this larger night move enclosure was one of the most played enclosures. But now it's not played much like before because of this attachment. This way, why can build a wall very nicely? Pressing black. Like this. Now black has to push and white jumps. White gets sente and play the right side. This version has been estimated by AI that it's favorable for white. Secondly, this night move enclosure was also one of the most played enclosures, but I believe this enclosure has been barely seen in pro games since AI came out. And the reason is that even if this enclosure is the most defensive and solid, the value of corner territory is estimated less than before by AI because of this shoulder hit and this attachment which can easily limit the potential of the corner. Lastly, this one space high enclosure has been also underrated by AI because of this attachment. There are many variations following afterward and if I show you one variation, black harness, white double harness, black cut, white extends, and black pushes up. White cut and extends up. Black tarries from the bottom and white makes the sentence. Here, this is the key move in this situation. Black pushes up and white blocks. Now, white is happy to sacrifice the three stones like this. And the A point is additional center for white. If black harness to take the two stones, white pushes here, which is another key point. Black should capture the three stones to prevent white from making more potential centers. And white tenuk is like this. According to AI, it's slightly better for white because white has got a free wall over black. The bottom right corner is quite big, which is about 30 points, but it's not that big considering that was originally Black's corner enclosure. Then what about the two-space high enclosure? Why is it preferred the most these days? It's because White has no good way of attaching the corner from the outside as of now. For instance, this attachment doesn't work well for White because now the space in the corner is bigger, so Black is happy to retain the corner. This attachment is not a problem either. Black can just extend and the corner is still bigger. For white, this attachment is the strongest way to attach to the corner. But without a backup, this attachment is not that strong. Black harness and if white cuts off, Black extends because the latter doesn't work for black now. Continuing from here, black is very happy with that white leaves in the corner in Gote like this because there are many bigger points out there. So that being said, black has absolutely no problem with white leaving in the corner in Gote like this. Back here, White's follow-up should be this double hane in general. But now white is outnumbered for the fight. So that's why white approaches the corner like this first and aims to attach at A next. 
And in response to that, black normally tend to kiss like this. And now the difference with the A stone is that I can attach there and fight a good fight. Now the situation is totally different and it's definitely fightable for white. Now white has two options, A and B. Alright, now let's take a look at what happens if I start fighting by A and B in turn. If white chooses to play at A, black has to extend here which is the key point and white has two options, the push at A or connect at B. This push is simpler, black makes one space jump and white does too. Black could tenuki like this or push and cut to take the two stones like this. The both variations are even and playable for both sides. Back here, the option of connecting is more complicated. The attachment is good follow-up for black and white comes out. And push up. Black double harness to sacrifice the three stones. And white extends, black connects. Now white pushes and a big exchange occurs. Black harness and double harness. Now white takes the bomb side and black takes the right side. This result is also quite even and playable for both sides. And back here, the interesting fact is that black should try to capture white by surrounding like this. Because actually white is in better position from the capturing race. Black blocks, white jumps in. And if black blocks here, White makes the sand dance and extends here. Now the result is the corner group of black is dead. So back here, black could resist by expanding the corner shape like this. Now if white plays in the corner, now the corner group is in cold. And of course, white doesn't do this right now. Back here, white makes the forcing moves outside first, like this. These are all good center moves. And make the wall for the bottom side. And if black doesn't fix the corner and ten key, white starts the core like this. And it's better for white. And back here, even if black does fix the corner, white takes the right side and it's still better for white. So that being said, black cannot really try to capture the two stones of white, like this. So back to the very beginning. This extension is also playable, although it leads to more complicated fight. Black makes the knight's move, and white makes the one space jump. Black jumps, and white defends the bottom side efficiently. Black attacks white by jumping from the outside and make the sente, jump again, and take white space away. After white comes out, Black makes larger knight move, and it's going to be a complex game afterward. So today, we learned why this two-space high enclosure is preferred these days, and other enclosures are not. We also learned that because white doesn't have a good way to deal with the enclosure right now, white leaves it alone, which is tenuki, or approach like this, aiming to attach at A. In conclusion, this two-space high enclosure is the strongest option for corner enclosure because it can avoid the direct attack of attachment. Also, I would like to emphasize the change of perspective. 
Unlike before when solid corner territory was more preferred, now the outside and center is more preferred and emphasized. So the two-space high enclosure is perfect for the change of perspective. So that's it for today. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the two-space high enclosure in various and different situations and how I should play against it depending on each situation. If you have any further questions for the two-space high enclosure or requests for the other topics, feel free to leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.